Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about why programmers sometimes talk to toys to help us debug our programs more quickly and even when we don't, this practice actually represents some important wisdom that you need to be aware of. Before we get too far into it, a big thanks to all of you who support this channel on Patreon where you can get access to source code and my monthly office hours. But now let's get back to the topic at hand which is talking to toys, otherwise known as the rubber duck method of debugging. And yes, I'm serious. This is a real thing. Let me explain. So we've all had the experience where we're working on a bug, a really nasty bug. We've been working on it for hours. We just were staring at the same code and we just can't see it and we're just stuck. So anytime you've been beating your head against a bug for minutes, hours, or days, this is where the rubber duck method comes in. When you're in this situation, you simply grab a rubber duck, like Sir Quacks a lot here. And yes, in my experience, bigger is better. And you simply explain your problem to the duck. And no, you're not just venting to the duck, though that may help sometimes too. But what you're doing is explaining your code, you're explaining your approach, the algorithm you're working on, the data structure, whatever. You're going through line by line and explaining it to your rubber duck. And amazingly, you're gonna find that this is going to help you debug things, is it can help you see your bug way faster. Don't believe me? Try it. But first, let's look at a couple of objections, questions. The first one is, does it matter whether it's a rubber duck or something else? Personally, I don't think it really makes much difference, but rubber ducks are cute and maybe you have them laying around, but I don't think it really matters if it's a rubber duck or not. Let me know down in the comments if you object. Maybe you have a favorite thing that you like to talk to. And really, if we're being honest, the ideal thing to explain your code to would be a friend, another programmer, a roommate, a spouse, a child, anyone who will listen to you. The problem is, is that this can be a little rough on relationships. Some of us don't have all that many friends and if I force my loved ones to listen to me talk about code line by line every time I run into a bug, well, they might not want to be my friends anymore. So frankly, using a duck is safer. Sir Quackslot here is a loyal friend. He doesn't judge. He doesn't get tired of me. He doesn't change the subject and tell me about the concert he went to last week. And most of all, Sir Quaxalot loves code. But naturally, if you're not big on ducks, use something else. But maybe more importantly, why is this a good idea? Why does it work? Well, aside from reinforcing stereotypes that exist about how programmers have some odd social behaviors, the real reason this works, and this is probably the most important thing in this whole video, is that when you take the time to vocally explain your code, to go through line by line and explain it either to a person or to something that you're treating as though it were another person. This engages your brain in a different way than just looking at your code. All of a sudden, as you hear yourself explain it, you, well, you're both looking at it, you're hearing yourself talk about it, and the things that you just haven't been able to see, the things you haven't noticed, are all of a sudden going to become way more noticeable. And maybe sometimes it's that what you're saying out of your mouth doesn't make sense to you, and you're like, wait, that actually, yeah, I, I don't even make sense to myself. And sure, I get it. A lot of people hearing this for the first time are thinking, this is childish, but I cannot tell you how many times students come to me in my office and say, I've got this bug. It's terrible. I've been banging my head on this for hours, days, all weekend I've been working on this. And they show me the code and I simply point out and say, explain to me what's going on here. Explain to me what you're doing. And they start explaining and they're like, yeah, yeah. So right here, I'm allocating a buffer to store this struct. And then I'm assigning this to the address of that buffer. Oh, that's it. I see it. I forgot. And instantly, usually within about 30 seconds, they see what's wrong with their code and they're off to the races. And I'm generally smiling saying, okay, my work here is done. That's all I had to do. Because they've been staring at this code for hours, maybe even days. And really all it took was for them to open their mouths and they see it in a minute. And of course, obviously, sometimes it's going to take a little bit longer than 30 seconds. But the point is, is had they explained it to Sir Quaxel back home, they might have saved themselves hours or days and they might have had a much better weekend. So folks, get yourself a duck and talk to it. It might be a little weird, but I think it's probably more socially acceptable than talking to yourself. And you'll debug your programs faster and keep your friendships healthier. Let me know down in the comments if you have other tips and tricks, things that help you debug faster, and I'll see you next week.